Hello and welcome to a brand new preview episode for Black on Black Cinema. I'm your host, Jay. I'm here with Micah. Hey. Rob. Hello. And Terrence. What's up? All right, so we are back with preview episode for episode 53, Waiting to Exhale. <laughs> uh, this has been requested um, by people who I would assume are insane. Um, <laughs> but they wanted us to bring in a, a woman to do this uh, this episode along with us. We We hear you and we say no. Uh, so <laughs> it's going to be four dudes <laughs> discussing waiting to exhale and this shit is going to be bonkers. Um, so take a look at the trailer and we'll come right back. It's New Year's Eve. What do you want to do tonight? Make tonight beautiful. A time for starting over. You are the only woman that I have ever loved. And letting go. You're leaving me for another woman. And for these four friends. I like a woman with a little meat on her bones, you know. The best is yet to come. 20th Century Fox presents a story about love. I don't know if I can trust him. Kurt, you're so crazy. About loss. I always thought if I gave him what he needed, he'd give me what I needed. About life. <laughs> what do you want from a man? Everything. Could you be more specific? About us. Give me some. Whitney Houston, Angela Bassett, Leela Rochon. Loretta Devine, and the year's most exciting soundtrack. I hope he's not watching me walk away. All right. He's watching. <laughs> On December 22nd, the wait is over. Waiting to exhale. Rated R. Star okay, so that is the trailer for the 1995 film Waiting to Exhale, directed by Forrest One-Eye Whitaker. Uh, that's terrible. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> it's also it. true. It's all you can't true. help it. Yeah, well, look, a lot of people can't help a lot of things. That's true. Um, but um, so we'll definitely take that on next week. Uh, but before we get there, we are going to um, discuss a random topic for 15 minutes. I'm going to put the timer on. <coughs> and the topic this week is, as we talked about in our last uh, preview topic, the topic is going to be the black church. Oh, boy. Um, so I'm just going to start. I'll start with Rob and go around because I feel like we need to wait and allow the tension to build before we get to Terrence, <laughs> before his <laughs> shenanigans start. <laughs> so we'll start with Rob. Rob, your thoughts on the black church and when is the last time you went to church? I realized a long time ago when I, before I even turned 20 that I enjoyed having weekends of some sort and I did not enjoy spending 10 hours in a church on a Saturday. For no good reason. Well, Ten? Were the doors locked? What the? F it, 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 it when you know people working for the church, you you end up being you, you're that kid that's there for the extra time. It's not. No, nah, son. I can't. And I'm, I'm exaggerating with ten hours, but still, it was. It was more like four hours. It was, yeah, it was. It was. It's too much. It's just too much jumping up and down, screaming. And I mean, at one point, I was into it a little bit, and then I started reading. <laughs> well. <laughs> so that church stuff just kind of went out the window, but I've been ducking and dodging and weaving, and right now my brother-in-law is a minister, and I just, wow, I can't deal with it. So my response to you is no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, Your opinion on the black church? <laughs> no. <laughs> so, Funny. so it's valid. That's not actually an unreasonable uh, thought. Um, I guess for me, I don't. I don't know that I. I think I haven't been to church since like. Since nineteen, really, and they. I was sitting in church, and they asked for, like. I, there was like a guest pastor of some sort and they asked like, oh, make sure you put the money in the basket that crinkles, but doesn't, you know, basically cash, not change. And I, I remember that moment in my brain going, no, no. <laughs> and I just got up. I walked the fuck out and I never came back. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just, I couldn't, I was like, I don't think I even believe any of this shit you're saying anyway. But like, that's nonsense. Like, but I'm certainly you're gonna be picky about the free money you get. <laughs> nah, all right, buddy. Now I just remember the last time I was in a black church, and it was during a funeral. Uh, and I was like, uh, uh, I was, I was like, mm, 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 nope, this isn't, this ain't right, this ain't right. Mm. And I know the person that died, and he did not. That's always my favorite. Mm -mm. 
No, the last time the last time I went to a black church wasn't that time at nineteen. I went a couple of years ago with my wife, and it was another thing where <laughs> T- 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 Terrence can elaborate on other stories similar to this. But some things were said, and I got my wife and I just got up and walked the fuck out. Mm. Yeah, Micah, you're a you're a black church goer. <laughs> you're a church going going a uh, fella. <laughs> Uh, I do go to church every once in a while. I, we try to go like once a month, and um, it's not enough. <laughs> apparently not. Um, <laughs> and it's it's you know I I go because the church that I go to now is very like you know laid back. It's one of those come as you are, you know. And you wear jeans. Yeah, oh, I ain't no real church. Yeah, like, like the pastor's <laughs> up there in jeans and a sport coat, and he's delivering a message or whatever. Is he usually, a newscaster? <laughs> <laughs> and usually the message is is pretty good. Um, is it? it? It's. I mean, it's <laughs> it's common sense stuff. You know what I mean? Like that's my thing. It's just it's common sense stuff. But apparently, people need to be told common sense stuff. Um, right. service is only like an hour and a half. Like that's I used too to. Long. I used to go to church. It, it used to be four hours because my grandmother worked at a church, mm-hmm. and she was no, you got to be there all day. And no, we ain't doing that anymore. <laughs> it, it's breakfast, lunch, and then get dinner on the way home. It was from eleven to three, oh. like every week. That's yeah. Church was two hours for me. I felt like I wanted to throw myself at the mercy of the court for it to just stop. <laughs> so I don't mind going to my fiance's church. Um, they're really they're really nice people. Uh, my mom's <coughs> church. Yeah, yeah, I love my mother to death, but Empowerment Temple can go fuck itself. <laughs> Seriously, man. Like I don't trust That is Jamal Bryant. Yeah, I don't know? yeah, the R. Kelly of ministers. I don't trust them. <laughs> I don't trust them. What did he, what did he sit in? Uh he said he sits in a golden throne. He sits in a golden throne. And and I remember going there once. I remember going there once. This first of all, this nigga's an adulterer. And if look, if anybody knows me, like look. Adultery is the thing that ticks me off. Like you, you cheat on me. You lucky if I don't throw you down a flight of stairs. <laughs> wow. I don't. I don't play that shit. <laughs> and, and, like you don't, if you don't want to be with me, just say you don't want to be with me. Don't cheat on me. Oh, and yeah. I've never been cheated on that I know of. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're free. Because everyone <laughs> <you> should be. <laughs> because you made it out alive. I don't give a fuck who you are. <laughs> but but that guy, that guy got caught cheating on his wife. So immediately, bam, you're done. I'm done with you. And, and no, no forgiveness. I mean, you're no, no, no. Mama was like, well, you know, he's just a messenger. He's still a man. I'm like, yeah, well, no, like you, you're supposed to be if you put yourself in a, in a position of authority, like you think you know better then you don't need to be dropping pills and chicks <coughs> drinks. You don't need to be, you don't need to be cheating. You don't need to be stepping out. You don't need to do none of that. So, stuff, so what's your opinion of uh, Martin Luther King? Martin Luther King? Look, mm-hmm. the only reason I like him is because I get a day off. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> You're such an asshole. <laughs> look, uh, look, he is not in a position where he's still around where he can defend himself. <laughs> so I'll give him a pass. <clears throat> so if Jamal Bryant dies and he's not in a position to, get, to defend himself, then maybe I'll give him a pass. I like how it's only a maybe, though. Would you give him $233 or whatever the amount was? That nigga asked us... <laughs> He was like, we trying to send these kids to Jamaica. <laughs> to Jamaica? And on a and vacation? What the on, fuck? On like a, on like a mission trip. You know go to I mean? Africa, motherfucker. Right. Like the church I go to now, they went on a mission trip to Africa. They, they, yeah. they went to Kenya. These motherfuckers were trying to go to Jamaica. Get yep. the fuck out of here. You tell people to, what? <laughs> you ain't trying to go to Jamaica to help nobody. You're trying to go to Jamaica to go to Jamaica. <laughs> and they were like, and we need $280 from each person. To, to uh, get these kids to Jamaica. Hold. Tickets to Jamaica ain't that expensive. No, they ain't that expensive. <laughs> you know what this was? They were going to be drug mules. Get the fuck. Yo. They were going down there to buy all the fucking weed, weed in the those. world. <laughs> I, and, and as soon as I saw that, I was like, all right, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm done. So I don't mind church, uh, but, you know, like, I'm not, the shit doesn't speak to me. Like, I see all these motherfuckers with their hands held high and shit, and I'm like. You don't, you don't get the ghost? Like, I don't feel it. Like I don't feel mm, it. Like I, I think there's something wrong with me. Like I don't like. No, there isn't. There is nothing. You, you, you you're smart. <laughs> <laughs> Read some books. I'm yes. just, all right. Well, look, I'm, I'm. Look, all you church going people, I'm the best you're gonna get <laughs> 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 on this show. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's true. Yes. 
That is true. All and right. and now, now, <laughs> drum roll, now, church going people, the worst you're going to get on this show. <laughs> Terrence. <laughs> okay. Look, I'm going to preface this really quickly. Like, I've been See? to... I've been to uh, about six or seven <laughs> funerals in the last eight years. Sucks. My family dies a lot. But the last time, which was, what, two weeks ago, I went to a funeral. Uh, my my um, <clears throat> uncle-in-law had passed away. His brother is the pastor of the church where he was, uh, where we did, they, they did the entire funeral. All right. Now, this is a funeral for your brother. So I'm throwing it out there. <clears throat> this nigga <clears throat> starts talking about just shit that has absolutely nothing to well first of all he's like his brother served me and Jesus really well he was his armor bearer I don't know what the fuck that is you church people might know what the fuck that is I don't know what the fuck that is I was sitting there like I don't does your church have an armory I don't speak. have guns and <laughs> weapons I was like I don't I don't speak that'd church. be pretty sweet by the way it, it would be pretty cool I don't speak church I don't know I don't know the language he's like he was an armor bearer if he didn't want to speak to people that day then he would be like no the, the the pastor doesn't want to speak to you first of all that seems a little weird to me like if someone wants to speak to you shouldn't that's you, your job right you, mm. all access 24 hour access to yeah. you right yeah. that's what i would think but apparently that's not the case Interesting. so he starts talking about how he served him well that's basically the only thing he said about his brother about his dead brother he goes on to talk about stepping out shacking up and uh, how men nowadays want to be women, and how women want to be men nowadays, and then he starts talking about faggots. He literally said the word. He faggots. literally said the word faggots yeah. multiple That's times during this sermon me. at a funeral. So I was sitting there like, I don't, I don't. What, what do I do with this? I. I couldn't walk out because it was a funeral. You chose not to walk it, out. That, <laughs> <laughs> That's a running joke between Terrence and I. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I chose not to walk out because that would be slightly disrespectful. But I think it would be less disrespectful than the shit that he pulled the fuck off. That's unbelievable. Like now, now, this is the same church that I went to maybe two or three years ago. And it was someone else preaching. It was a younger pastor or whatever. I don't know the pastor, preacher, fuck all of them. I don't know the difference. But, uh... He did the same shit. He's still talking about faggots. Like, why are you guys so upset? And they're like, yeah, the praise game? Jesus. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you people? Like, this. Do you think, uh, okay. First of all, oh, hold fuck on. church. Well, How well, about that? Fuck again, all of them. Again, fuck the, the Catholic worst Church. You're fuck do. Kojic. <laughs> fuck Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints. <laughs> fuck the goddamn Mormons. I don't fucking care anymore. What like, are Kojics? I don't even know. Uh, church of Jesus. Uh, church of God and Christ. That's what it means. What's the difference? Like, I don't fucking. Know. I, I like how Micah. Like, I, like don't, I don't know. I don't know. Goddamn the, clue. Like, if I don't you go know, to church I don't, I don't, I don't for care. good reasons. Yeah, like I got no problem with that. Whatever. But when you start talking about people <laughs> at a fucking funeral, yeah. Well, I, I, I mean, was so fucking pissed. I was sitting there like, I, I want to punch this dude in the face right well, now because what is, I don't understand. I guess what I don't understand is, as black folks. I mean, we've talked about this on like previous episodes. I don't understand black folks who are against the civil rights of other people. Like, of all of the groups who should be like, hey, this is probably not cool. Like, look, I'm not saying just because you are fine with, you know, LGBT people existing, which at a minimum, congratulations, you know, but if you're okay with, you know, gay folks getting married or, you know, being open in the world, <coughs> I don't understand how you could be against that and look at your own history where people told you that you ain't shit and that you, you know, you can't accept. A friend of mine, a friend of mine, he's gay and he's really upset right now because of all the news happening that he sees people in his own gay community being racist. And he's looking at it like, how the fuck do you even do that? It goes both ways. There are people yeah. that, that be, it, they understand themselves, but if it's they still are against anything that is different from themselves. Well, not only that, like there there's a distinct part of the gay community that thinks that transgender is unacceptable. Which blows my mind. Yeah. Like none of that makes any sense. None of that makes and sense. I and I'm in I'm I'm fucking sitting there 
giving this motherfucker the biggest the 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 biggest side eye I can possibly give because I'm just like completely disgusted. And my aunt is sitting in front of me. I'm like, she can't. There's no fucking way. Like she's she can't super, be okay with. She's this. super religious, and I'm like, there's no fucking way she can be. She can be okay with this shit. But the thing like, is, what the fuck? What the fuck does it have to do with your? With the guy who died. It didn't have shit to do. He was like, well, he's dead, so he can't hear me, so I'm preaching to y'all today. That's what he said. <laughs> what the fuck he said? Like, wow. And then this one dude gets up, starts singing, and I'm like, this motherfucker's clearly gay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this goddamn church? I don't get it. He was like, delivered. <laughs> he, he still like men's. <laughs> Apparently. Women. Like women. Oh, women. <laughs> <laughs> Like it was so I don't, get, I don't understand it. Fucking bizarre. I, I I was in the fucking twilight zone for two hours. Just gotta let that religion go. It was so fucking weird. And then I got home and my fucking aunt went the fuck off because she doesn't like the dude either. Like she she just flipped out. Once, I know once blame we her. left, I'm like, oh, so I wasn't alone. And I asked my sister, she's like, Yeah, that was pretty fucked up. My brother was like, mm, Look, yeah. If you guys are around when I die, hopefully in a hundred years. Oh, uh <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> if you're around and anyone decides that, if for some reason my wife isn't there, anyone decides like, Jay wanted a religious funeral. I need you to be like, roll tape of this episode. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Scatter my ashes over the ocean or over, I don't know, like some podcasters' heads or something. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Do not have them talk about how gay people are the worst at my funeral. For the love of God. I, I have a request, too. Which I don't even if, believe in. If you guys, if anyone's around after I die. We will be. Thanks. Um, I need somebody at the funeral to walk up to the casket, put one hand on my chest, and raise your other fist <laughs> to the sky, and just scream, no! <laughs> as loud as you can. Just one person, and that will make me happy. <laughs> and just walk out. <laughs> yes. Like, we did it. He All was right. too young! Was 97 you. years. He was 97 years old. And if you if you throw one, I'll avenge you. I'll that. I'll avenge you. Lightning striking behind you. <laughs> like that does. All right, that's the time. God damn it! I, I I was like, I'm not going any more funerals. I'm done. You're done. I'm fucking done. Not in that town, at least. Never. Never. <laughs> like, is this a religious I thing? I don't. I don't want to. I don't want a funeral. Like, I don't care what the fuck you do with my body. You could throw it in the ocean. We will without cremating it. Like. Just I mean, I figured I, I figured we'd just strangle you to death and bury you in a shallow grave in Leakin Park. You son of a bitch. God. <laughs> God he didn't man. do it, folks. Free Anon. Um, yeah, so I, I, I don't know. I, I find the black church to be interesting. And unfortunately, we didn't get to a part of the conversation that I would have liked. Is Do you think that there is a distinct difference between the black church and just regular churches, right? Like re just regular white churches, like because I feel like, yeah, it's, we it's a lot of singing and dancing in ours, right? <laughs> yeah, let's go a little. There's bit a lot more showmanship thing. in black yeah, churches. There's a lot of there's a lot of look at me. I'm, I'm doing. All <laughs> <this>. <laughs> I th I think the messages are the same. <laughs> Like that was the best dance. They're, they're just the slave dance. Yeah, they're just delivered a little you, bit differently. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm actually glad. I'm. I'm actually. They are delivered, but with a T. But let, let's go a little bit long on this because I. I think there. There is something you, you brought up slavery. Do you find it weird that black folks are so ardent about their religion, the religion, the Christian religion, when it was forced on us during slavery? Because that was. The I find that to be really odd. That's the only thing that. Slaves. That was one of the few things slaves that had to hold on to. Right, but we yeah. had so our own religion. Yeah, but it, it was wiped that. out. That all they had no, was I that know. Christianity, and they they've held on to it. And now it's just in our culture. Right, I know, but like maybe maybe it's just me. Like I think about those things. Like, yeah, how the fuck are you? Those things. Right, like how the fuck are you? Like Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I'm like they use that along with a stick to beat you to damn near to death and be like, yeah, that's right, I'm beating you. I know it's cool. And your life sucks, and you're working in the field for free, but you know this Jesus guy's gonna be here when you die. Like I find, I find that out. I mean, do you think about that? Like, is that something you thought about? I mean, I think it's done. It's done. Well, religion is there to keep people in line <laughs> because if people realize that you know nothing happens when you die, which I, you know, I mean, as 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 I am the religious person, I don't think anything happens when you die. Like, you, you don't just, think you go to heaven? You just cease. You just stop. I it's, find that to be such ends. a bizarre thought, too, by the way. Like, even as a non-religious person, I find it to just be like the thought of just 
You nothing. die, and then just nothing happens. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I, I imagine it's Terrible. just like being in a deep sleep. Like, you ever been in a real deep sleep, and you just can't remember? Like, like blacking out. You guys are drunks. Well, you guys are drunks. <laughs> I imagine that you've blacked out before, and you can't remember what happened. One, I have never drank to the point I've ever blacked out. I've, I've blacked never, out with never. rage. You, you've never... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, black rage, like literally. You've never like, drank so much you can't remember. No. Oh, so I'm the only person at the table that's been blackout drunk. Yes. Repeatedly. No, I did it once in a park. And I you were drinking I, with white people, weren't you? Then, then yes. You, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> that's that's, the, that's uh-huh. the only reason why we didn't get arrested. Did, which yeah. what, what park was this? And did you have it, to bury a Korean was, girl? It, God damn it! <laughs> it, <laughs> it was, was in Colombia. So yeah, you were nowhere, definitely part of your life. It was people. yeah, it was funny because I did that, and then we were sitting in front of a large house waiting to sober up. And the cops pulled up. We had fucking open bottles in the car and everything. We didn't get arrested. I'm like, thank God for these Korean and white people. Because they'd have beat my ass. They'd have beat you to death. They'd have beat the shit out of me. And we went to jail. They were <laughs> like, uh, take it easy. And we sobered up. We weren't driving. Shut up. God, God damn it. Look, look, you know. So I've, I've this witnessed is, firsthand how it is, how it yeah, feels to be a white, white person. Yes. Probably pretty great. Oh, around white folks yeah. when the cops show up. I, I've, I've experienced it once, and I was in a car full of white people speeding down the road in Towson, and we got pulled over, and the cops pulled us over, walked up to the window, rolled the window down. You guys lost? Looking for work someplace? And my friend driving, is like, yeah, we were looking for the theater. Oh, it's right back there. Okay, thanks, officer. Done. That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't I'm, even take a nightstick and poke you in the face. No, I'm, I'm in the back seat just sitting there like... Okay. Uh, well, technically, they probably they didn't probably realize that you were, you were white. white. I, I wasn't going to bring hey, attention to hey, it. I wasn't going to bring attention to it. Say, yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're right, officer. You're right. You are 100 percent correct. It's like, <laughs> no, I wasn't speaking. Yeah, yeah. right. Like, yeah, your voices have got a little too deep. Like, <laughs> Mr. Be sure, can I have your autograph? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! I loved your albums in the 90s. They were awesome. Um, uh, look, I, <laughs> but I, I do honestly think that one of the, one of the biggest, like just, I guess transgressions is not thinking about whether or not this religion that you hold was your own people's and it wasn't. And that doesn't mean that the religion that they had before makes more sense is right or wrong or whatever. I just find it interesting that you could tell people like, this is the religion you're going to have. And this is the thing that you're going to pray to and everything else. And the same people we're telling you that are systematically oppressing you on a, on a wide scale basis. I just, I find that interesting. You can't give, you can't, you can't give people that you are oppressing, um, a reason to fear nothing. You know what I mean? Because if they didn't have religion, the slaves would have been like, nah, so fuck you then. And then I'm going to, I'm going to take, you know, I'm going to take a chance. If I die, fuck it. Nothing's going to happen. And you're going to be out of a workforce. (laughs) So, so I, I, I get it. But yeah, I just, and look, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with religion, man. Like I said, you know, I'm agnostic at best. And you know, all right, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, don't give a shit. Like for me, I I used to be more agnostic. I'm an atheist now, but um, for me, I look at it from the perspective of what may what makes sense to me. I'll believe anything with with proof, right? If you told me a fucking Pegasus exists or God exists and he came down and can fucking bebop and all this other shit and moonwalk across a lake, (laughs) I don't give a shit. I believe it if I saw some proof, and that's that's my thing. Is I. Everyone is here. Here's a here's a little you know spoiler alert to life. Everyone is an atheist, right? You don't believe in Zeus. You don't believe in Aphrodite. You don't believe in whatever other like ancient religions. No one believes that shit. No one's like, oh yeah, I'm a big Zeus guy. Like no one believes that. I just go one step further, which is I don't believe the one that uh, most people do believe in, and that's okay. Inherently, I don't think there's anything wrong with religion. I think when you're using it to systematically push people down when you're talking about <laughs> faggots and gays and all this other shit. I think that's where it, it's terrible. If you're like, hey, it's cool, like, you want to go to church, you and your fiancé go to church, and you're talking about, like, treating people with respect and being a good person, I have no problem with that. I think that's great. Because, look, there's a lot of shitty people on Earth. <clears throat> yeah. And there, there are. And if people, if people find their way to being a good person through that, that's great. If they don't, 
find the way to be a good person through religion, I think that's also equally fine. But when you are systematically oppressing people like churches to happen to do, not all churches, but churches do, then I have a problem with it. And that's where I push back. See, my one, my one thought that makes me really sad, I mean, all, all this religious nonsense and people spouting that kind of shit. If Jesus came down and pointed to them and told them they were wrong, they wouldn't believe it was Jesus. That is correct. They yeah. Would, I would. Uh, yeah, yeah, they'd be like, "Who's this fucking hippie, long-haired faggot?" <laughs> <laughs> they, they would say he was the Antichrist, right? Trying to trying to trick him, right? Yeah. I, I just, yeah. yeah. So it it it's food for thought, and, and it's, feel, not, and it's not it's not a necessary. Like, if he were to come down and point at a group of people, the one me. I don't go to church. He'd probably respect me a little bit more than some of these motherfuckers that do. Mm-hmm. They respected go, me for saying <laughs> 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 Right. Because they, they do all kinds of crazy shit and then go to then go to church and they're they're forgiven and, and delivered. And Jesus is the one that said do that shit in private. Like fuck. Yeah, these like people, I do man. like I do like my look. Look, when I pray <laughs> All right. When I pray, I, I, we, got, <laughs> we got to pray just to make it today. That's why we pray. When I pray, I mean, you never do that again. <laughs> uh, yeah. when we I pr- do not quote MC Hammer. My conversations with God are very, very private. Like I don't know. Like I, no, when I say my grace, it is, it is. It's for you. It's for me. Right. Like I'm not. I, I I'm not really want to... a PlayStation Four. <laughs> <laughs> I really want one. And I make sure not to ask for shit. You know what I mean. Like I'm just, I don't you know. Don't, you don't ask for God to kill Peter Parker? <laughs> <laughs> you could. <laughs> it's a solid request. Oh, my God. But, yeah, man, I just. Fuck church. Like, sorry. Yep. I, I just, I can't deal with it. <laughs> I, I, think, I, I, I think there is no. a, I, I think there is a profound difference between religion and church. No. Yeah, I, I would agree. I would agree with you. Yeah. And you know, I, and you don't I'm, need to go to church to fucking find religion. Nope. Just, nope. Or to be spiritual or like, be a good person. Like, read the fairy tales and just get over with it. Get over it. <laughs> God damn it. All right, guys. Uh, So we'll be back next week with Waiting to Exhale. That should be uh, fascinating. Yeah. (laughs) Four dudes. I think so. Four dudes versus four women in a fucking battle royale for blackness. (laughs) All right. We'll see you guys. Take it easy. Adios.